Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you this adorable little beaver curd. Let's get started. Off camera, I've already gone ahead and cut down my panel to four and a quarter by five and a half. It doesn't really matter at this point what size the panel is, but I had the piece of paper already cut and I thought I'd make use of it. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking some Lumberjack Plaid Distress Oxide ink and I am using a Pink Fresh Studio Argyle Pattern Stencil. And this is a two-part stencil. So I'm going in first with the Oxide Red Lumberjack Plaid, which is an amazing color. This is my favorite red. And then all I'm going to do is clean off my stencil off camera and bring it back in and I'm going to shift it over to where I get a white border around each of the diamonds. And now I'm going to go in with my somewhat dry uh, Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide ink. I think in the new year I'm going to start investing in Distress Oxide ink refills because I only have one and it is Chip Sapphire. And I'm going to have to learn how to properly clean my brushes and maybe even get more brushes so I don't have to clean them as many times. Um, so all I'm doing is getting the desired amount that I want on this. I'm not going to be too picky and choosy with the edges on this card panel because I intend to cut it down. I'm not exactly sure at this point in the game what I wanted to do. Initially I wanted to use the whole panel, but... I didn't write the idea down and it kind of got away from me and when I thought I remembered, I didn't remember and it didn't look how I wanted it to go. So I ended up cutting this down later, which you will see later on in the film or in the recording. Yes, film recording. You know what I mean. <laughs> it is December 22nd as I'm recording this and I actually made this card a couple of hours ago. so. I needed a card, and I wanted to make a card, and whether or not I'm going to gift this card, I'm not sure yet. I just know I wanted to make something, so this is what I'm doing. Yay! Are you guys finished all your cards yet? <laughs> oh, this is the girl, uh, gold, girl, pearl gold in my Fine Tech Pearlescent watercolors. I'm going to add a little bit of color to that, and I'm going to add that to my little bitty stamping block because I like picking the color from this and using it to splatter. I also like tapping my brush against it because I find with a fine enough um, paintbrush, I get really delicate, tiny little splatters, which I really like. And also flicking it off, I get really nice little splatters, but they're more of a definite controlled kind of flick, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to pinpoint it out to show you what I mean, if you know, know what I mean, or if you know what I mean. Anyway, I completely forgot about this second part of the stencil. Um, this is going to add in the black lines to it, and I probably could have done this before the gold, but I wasn't really thinking because before I did this part of the card, I actually had to stop filming because it was supper time and dinner was ready, and I needed to stop or the cat was going to get my dinner, and I didn't want the cat to get my dinner because I was hungry. And Nova doesn't need to eat people food. She's got her own kibble. And she likes to tell me when she needs her kibble. <laughs> like a typical cat. So there's my finished panel. I'm going to set that off to the side, and we're going to get into some copy coloring. Now, I have got the So Damn Much Beavers, and I have got the little rug from... The Lawn Fawn Set Christmas Dreams. I like this rug. This rug is actually in another Christmas set, which is really cool. But it is attached to the tree itself. So I'm kind of glad that I have a set with just this rug by itself. Because I've used it for a lot of many different things. Not just being a rug. I think early on in the year, I believe I made a little birthday cake. Uh on a plate on a card for a friend's birthday. So I've used it as a plate. It, it's, it's quite versatile. Now we're going to do these beavers a little bit differently. One of them I'm going to add in this extra E49 just to kind of give a little more shadow around the 
beaver that's hugging in the back. I almost said squirrel. <laughs> These are beavers, not squirrels. <laughs> and I am going to try my hand at leaving a little bit of a white gap um, on some of their parts just to create a little more, I guess, dimension. I don't know. I saw this somewhere on YouTube. I can't remember who I saw coloring like this, but they had learned from somebody else. And I've been trying to give it a little bit of a try lately and really trying to blend out those those lines a little bit better to see how I like them. And I don't know, it's it's a different technique, one that I do need a lot more practice on, but I also need a lot more practice with, with Copic coloring. And I do want to try out different mediums of paper, I guess. Mediums of paper or types of paper. I don't know, paper really matters. Like right now I'm only using the... Um, Recollections brand 110 pound cardstock because the other paper that I have is super expensive and I'm so worried about using it like we buy all these craft supplies and they're either so pretty or so expensive and we're so afraid to use them and we don't end up using them and they just kind of sit there in the cupboard or the drawer or the paper holder and I think in the new year, I'm going to make an effort to use my nicer papers or my pattern papers or you know what I mean. So are you as bad as I am? Do you do you hoard stuff because it's pretty or because it's so expensive and you're just too worried about, you know, using it? Let me know. I know I struggle with it, especially pattern paper. I always struggle with that. So for their little noses here, I'm just going to use a... Uh, the 0.5 in the white Sakura Jelly Roll. And that way that'll give me a little bit of a nose shine. I found that that one was just small enough to get into it. And this is the um, 0.8 in the white Jelly Roll. I generally like using this one for Lawn Fawn images. I find that it's not too thick and not too thin. Like the uh, the 1 or the, the 10 or whatever you want to call it. I find it's a little bit too thick for doing the lawn fawn images, but I find that this one is just just right in the middle. Um, just right, like Goldilocks says. <laughs> so I'm just going around and doing a little dot and a little dash and a little dot just to give it a little more cuteness and dimension and I don't know, sometimes I forget to do this <laughs> and end up having to go back and do it once the card is finished, so I, uh, I got smart and incorporated it into this part of the uh, the video. So I accidentally put a little bit too much of a glob of glue on this so I'm just taking a piece of paper and kind of spreading that out a little bit better so it doesn't ooze all over the place and then I'm just gonna glue down my beavers and let them hug on the little red rug. Isn't that cute? I love these little beavers. I think they're so adorable. I wasn't sure at first if I was going to like them but then once I got them they kind of grew on me. So I'm taking my red um, oxide ink brush that I had used for the um, Lumberjack plaid and whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going around the edge of my card base. Now I thought about putting a different panel down, but I didn't want to add too much dimension. So I'm just using what I have left on my brush and going around the edges and bringing it in lighter kind of thing. So I've got a bit of a, a gradient with this red. And I'm not going all the way down into the middle because it's not going to matter because it's going to be covered. So once I'm happy with all of that, I'm going to go back in with that pearl gold in my fine, De fine tech pearlescent watercolors. And I'm going to do a little bit more splattering again just to kind of tie the card base in with the little card panel I made. So you can't really see here... Um, with the splattering, the different splatter techniques. I don't know. You'd have to try it out to see which one you like better. You know, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but the way that the paint flicks when you use a block like this as opposed to just tapping it, there's a slight difference. But that's only if you really want to be super picky. And I can somebody be too super picky or just a completely oblivious, depending on my mood. But this one I was kind of being a little bit picky. And I don't know, I kind of like how both of them turned out. So I forgot the cheek. 
And this is a new marker that I got. I recently got a CE2. I think it's like fruit pink or something like that. And uh, I thought I'd use it to add the little cheek. So once everything's dried, I'm going to go back in with some glue. Oh, not this glue because this glue was lying on its side and there's only a little bit left. So I'm going to think about where my other glue tube is and it's right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of the white Lawn Fawn glue to the back, make sure it's nice and spread around. And then I'm going to stand up and grab it by the corners and kind of eyeball where this needs to go just to kind of keep it as center as I possibly can. And once I'm happy with that, I will mash that down. And then for the little squirrel guy here, I am going to take some foam tape once I find it. I've got a little drawer up in front there that I've got all my stuff in. So that's where I keep my foam tape is right there. So I'm going to cut down little pieces to place on the back side of the beaver. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit out of camera here. I try to zoom in as close as I possibly can, or at least, as, at least to where I feel comfortable. I need a bigger mat to hide, hide my uh, colorful desk in the background. This is actually an old Ikea table that um, my sister got, oh god, probably, oh god, probably 15 years ago, maybe? No. I want to say she probably got this 12 or 13 years ago. And when she didn't need it anymore, she gifted it to me maybe 10 years ago. So I've had this desk for quite a long time. And my niece and I used to do a lot of craft projects on it. So there was already paint on it. And I just didn't have the heart to resand it and refinish it. So it is what it is. So once I've added a little bit of glue to that foam tape, I'm going to grab my reverse tweezers, stand up, and make sure that I can see this center. Make sure I've got this on the right side. So once I'm happy with the placement, I am going to push that down. And then I'm going to count out how many little rhinestones I have here, or baubles, or I'm not sure what you call them. These are high supply. These are part of the um, prize that I won a few weeks back there. I did a whole uh, show and tell video on it. It was a really cool prize and I like having all sorts of different colors of these. It was a very generous prize, needless to say. And here you have my finished card. I really do hope that you guys have a safe and happy holiday in whatever you do. And I hope to see you in the new year. Safe, sound, happy, and full of creativity. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.